Uh, speaking of jolly, let's talk about Nigel Farage. Now, Reform UK kept their promise and demonstrated that they are indeed a thorn in the side to the Tories. Although, as predicted and based upon last night's local election results, any success they have will all but guarantee a Labour government. It's strange that a party of the right, with a far more conservative policy offering than the actual Tories, should be so enthusiastic about installing Sir Keir Starmer into number 10 for five years with a bumper majority. In fact, the man who set up the party, the formidable Nigel Farage, told me on this channel three months ago that we might have Labour in office for 10 years. Reform UK risks falling between two stools, damaging the Conservatives, but not fatally, keeping them out of power, but not winning seats or gaining power themselves. Eviscerating the Tories only to see Sir Keir Starmer running the country for a decade sounds like a hollow victory to me. What is Reform UK for, if not to ensure that a fiscally and socially conservative party is in power? If Nigel Farage is expecting a possible decade of Labour rule, when exactly will Reform UK start winning seats and form a government? Pop starlet Taylor Swift will be drawing her state pension by the time that happens. Now, I'm an admirer of those involved in the Reform UK project and plenty of their policies make sense. But other than their stated objective to nuke the Tories, their wider plan doesn't add up. If Nigel Farage takes a frontline role and becomes leader of the party, then yes, their support will grow. But the irony is that the stronger Reform UK become, the larger a Labour majority becomes as well. Reform UK voters, many of whom watch and listen to this channel, detest everything about the Labour Party and particularly Sir Keir Starmer. And yet their support for this insurgent force only guarantees him more years in power. Nicholas Owen, Nigel Farage <clears throat> is Keir Starmer's greatest political ally. Yeah, uh, the analysis was great, actually. <laughs> I loved it. Um, I just think, that if you look back in history, all this business about parties rise, UKIP rose, oh, weren't they saying the same things about that? And UKIP, I think, at the same stage, was doing rather better. Am I right? Is that yeah. right, Martin? I think that at so, this stage, uh, that UKIP had, well, had more UKIP presence? did very well in European elections. Um, oh, but, I remember those. But neither, yeah, yeah. neither UKIP nor Reform are very big at running in local council elections. Mm. But Which, they got four million votes in the um, general election, didn't they? Without even achieving but one. But it makes you wonder quite what their strategy is. Are they trying to replace the Conservatives? In which case, you want to do what the Lib Dems do and run lots of candidates locally and build up support and overtake the Conservatives in a way like Labour did mm -hmm. in overtook the Liberal Party at the start of the nine, uh, 20th century. Or are they slightly confused and they think they're in America that uh, Farage can run? as the Conservative candidate for president and win the primary vote. But that isn't how the system works but here. Listen, listen, the most important thing with the two parties that have dominated politics in this country since, what, 19, oh, whatever it was, when, when the Liberals finally fell away, mm. uh, the Conservatives and Labour, is that they are both, I, I hate these political clichés, but it's true, isn't it? Broad churches, broad churches. Reform, you, you, you may love this party, but it's only about sort of one set of right-wing, dare I say it, policies, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Population won't go for that at a, at a general election. I'm just absolutely certain of that. The way that Starmer has pulled his party together away back from the sort of crazy Corbyn years and so on, uh, and the Tories represent this enormous broad thing. That is what people, when they sit down in a polling booth, mm -hmm. stand in the polling booth, show their passport, which I think you had a bit of trouble with today, and they didn't believe you were who you said you Just were. Just have a diligent in, in, in rural Northampton, yeah, it's, very it's sorry about that. When, when, but when, you when go you, in and yeah. you put your cross, yeah. you, are you going to say to yourself, oh, yes, they're really going to be tough on immigration? Mm. Yeah, but what are they going to do about the housing problems that young people face? What are they gonna, actually going to do about inflation? That's what matters.